Carol, can you do something about your kids, please? I'm trying to concentrate. You are playing with building blocks, Mark. It's their favourite toy. It says eight plus on the box, and I'm certainly plus in age. Kia ora, folks. Get your pens and pencils ready. It's the Drawing Show. Welcome, everybody. Today we're going to draw something everyone hates to draw. Money from an already overdrawn bank account. Oh, not sure how you know about that. No, this is something that most artists find difficult to draw. A bar. A bar. Ah, oh, draw a bar. Hmm, hilarious. No, today we're actually going to draw a foot. Oh, we better be drawing a sock to cover it. Now, feet are especially tricky to draw because we want to have some perspective. Start by lightly drawing a boxy wedge shape with the thick end where the ankle would be and the thin end for the toes. This is going to be a right foot. Let's start with the small toe, which will be closest to us. A little sausage shape will do. Because of our perspective, we can see the other toes behind it, so let's draw three more sausage shapes, each slightly longer than the last, then we finish it off with the big toe. There we go. Five glorious toes, just like a foot should have. Wait, oh, a cast. I've only got four toes. Oh, OK, what is with the feet today? Put them away. Should I be concerned? Don't worry, mate. Last series, you drew a hand with five fingers. She's not exactly going for realism. That's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to leave the extra details up to Mark. Mark? Coming, Pete. <laughs> now, I'm going to be a minute, so kids, please don't touch my castle, OK? Mark? <laughs> OK, well, that cute little giggle actually makes it sound like you are going to touch it. Where's your mum, please? Mark! Oh, OK, OK, Penny, I'm coming. Come on, Mark. Best foot forward. OK, <laughs> then let's handle it. Because it rhymes with jandle, and that's what you put... <sighs> feet? That was a stretch. All righty. Let's start by smoothing off those sharp edges, curving around the heel and rounding off those cute little toes. OK, detail time. Let's add some toenails. Yep, those look nice and gnarly. And some nice coarse hairs to really make this foot stand out in a crowd. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a very important building project I've got to get back to. You. Oh, I don't like the sound of that joyful giggling. No! 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 Well, while Mark sorts out whatever that was, um, here's the great eraser. Thank you, thank you. Oh, What's this? Oh. Well, excuse me. Where are your shoes? I'll have you know, it turns out my shoes were two sizes too small. And now I can't get them back on. OK, well, speaking of feet that need cleaning, would you like to clean up this drawing? It would be my pleasure. Smell you later, pencil lines. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Now, while I go for a foot spa, here's Carol to add some colour. OK, come on, come on, kids. We're going to miss our cue. Oh, finally. I can finish my castle in peace. Hello, everyone. Oh, Mark. Did you really have to give it hairy toes? <laughs> OK. There's lots of options colour-wise. You really can go in any direction. Can I do it, Mum? Sure you can, Carita. Off you go. You too, Sandy and Peraldi. Unfortunately, those disgusting hairs and toenails aren't going to colour themselves. As far as a big old gross foot goes, well, that looks great. <laughs> Me and my freshly washed feet will take it from here, Carol. With our best foot forward and a magical pose. Let's tickly wickly five little toes. Oh. <sighs> Someone is hopping mad. Oh, I don't think the theatre is going to take much more of this. Look, guys, I fit it off. Ah, building bricks, a foot's greatest enemy. There is no greater pain. Well, maybe the kids can help you put it back together, Mark. Yeah, I'd like that. Aw, maybe we should change our name to The Building Show. See you all next time.